Hey fellow side children, um, I feel like I'm going to start calling you guys that now because that's why I call um, everyone on my blog. So when I'm writing a blog post, I always say um, hello fellow shy children because I feel like we are a team so we are all shy children so yes. Okay so today's video is going to be my makeup products of the week. I have to say I didn't film one last week because I just used the same products I used the week before which sometimes that happens for me because I don't wear makeup I feel every day which I'm trying I really don't want to get into that makeup every day thing but to film videos for you guys I feel like I'm going to have to get inside that type of routine of putting on makeup so I can have it on and then I can get videos filmed because sometimes I don't film videos because I don't want to put my makeup on. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are all of my makeup products for the week. I have them in this box right here. Um, some of the products I have mentioned before, some of them are going to be new. And I feel like I'm really white right now. Like there's a lot of light on me. I don't know. We're just going to see how this works. <laughs> if this doesn't work good, um, I guess we'll switch it up. How do I look now? Okay, so hopefully I look better and I'm not looking so bright and in your face. So let's just get started with the products I have for the week. So the first product is this Ramel London Natural Bronzer. I think I had this in my video last week. I really, really love this bronzer. It is waterproof, so it will stay on your face longer. Um, and it looks like this. It's in the color 027 Sundance. And I have all the products I'm gonna be talking about. I'm wearing them today because it was just easier that way <laughs> to get ready. Okay, so for an eyeshadow base, I'm gonna be using the NYX or NYX eyeshadow base. This is in the skin tone color, so number 03. I really, really like this base and it lasts a long time. I had this for a while and I still have a lot of product. So, yes. For a mascara, I'm still on the Scandal Eyes by Ramel London Mascara. This is in the color Extreme Black. I really, really love this mascara. If you haven't tried this mascara, I really suggest you give it a try. It's probably one of Ramel London's best mascaras because I remember um, back in the day, I used to, I loved Ramel London, like the whole line um, and stuff like that, even though a lot of the products really did not work for me <laughs> um, because, you know, like the skin tone issues with the colors and stuff like that. But when it comes to mascaras, I always tried their mascaras. And for some reason, they used to be on the not so, like the all right side. But I feel like now they are on the like, you need to go get this mascara side. So this is the mascara I've been wearing. And it's on my eyelashes. Okay, so for eyeshadows, which I have the top over there <laughs> to this because it completely broke. And I don't even, let me get that. Okay, so I'm back. For eyeshadows, I am going to be using this eyeshadow little palette right here. This is by NYC, which is New York Colors. And it's the individual eyes. And this is created for brown eyes. So it basically gives you all the colors that, you know, work well with brown eyes. So you got your purples, you got your brown, you got your gold. Um, and then you got like a highlight color, which is kind of on the um brownier side so not so white um you also get these which this palette <laughs> it's, a, it's a mess but it's probably one of my favorites so that's why i keep you know i'm like trying to finish it up but this is actually an eyeshadow base or was an eyeshadow base i'm not using that and this was an illuminator so yeah if you do want something that's all together and makes it way way easier for you guys i would suggest checking um these out because, I mean, it's everything in one. That would be great for traveling. So, yes. For eyebrows, I have been using this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Mine now looks like this. I love this to death. So, you basically get 
the pencil-y, waxy side on one side and then you get the ivory um, lift color. So to put on top of your brows, under your brows, I usually just use it under, like under here, to brighten it up and make it so that it hides little hairs and stuff like that. But this is really, really compared to the e.l.f. Um, little eyebrow like wax with powder it's like the same thing kind of but just in pencil form to make everything a lot easier okay so for lips i got three lip products in here um since it is on the fall side you know since fall started i decided to go with more of a dark color so kind of like the lip i'm wearing right now which it's max rebel if you do not have max rebel i suggest you really go pick up max rebel you guys need this color for fall it's literally fall like it's the fall color <laughs> um, in my eyes of course because i love this color for fall so max rebel um looks like that and i of course have it on my lips right now this color if you think it's too dark for you just put one coat on. It is a buildable, buildable color. Um, if you don't know, Max Rebel is also a satin finish. So yeah. Um, the next lip product I have is by Wet n Wild and this is in the color Cherry Bomb. This is like another one of my favorite um, fall colors. It looks a bit, actually it looks exactly like Max Rebel. So if you don't want to pay the price for a MAC lipstick, um, Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb is like very close. Like, look how close that is. Like, they're like the same thing. So you could rock this. Um, I really like that. And of course I got my lip gloss because sometimes I don't want to wear a lipstick. And this lip gloss is of course perfect, if, except the smell. And this is Ramel's London Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. And it's in the color Stay My Rose. So for blush, I don't think my blush is going to change, you guys. So in all these videos, you guys are possibly going to be seeing the same blush combination because for some reason, this blush combination has really worked for me and I've been loving it and it works. As you can see, I'm wearing it right now. It's not clashing. So for fall, I basically love to wear a bold lip. Like you guys don't see me on a lot of bold lips. So since I'm wearing a bold lip, my eyes, which I'm wearing that NYC palette, is going to be very neutral. So I don't need something in the middle clashing. So the blush I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. blush palette. And this is in light. And it's these two colors over here. So you got this matte brown color and then you have this peachy color. So if you pick up the light palettes, all the shades to, well, two shades to the right. So, yeah. I like to mix those together and put them on my cheeks and it works perfectly. So, yep. So for eyeliners, which I don't think this is possibly going to change either unless I decide to go with like a purple or a blue. But really around this time, I really love the black mysterious like eye look. So for the waterline, I'm using this. Oh, what is this pencil called? It's like star something gaze. I have it linked down below because you I can't even see it. But it's in the color K01 Obsidian. I I think I mentioned this in my video last week. So as you can see, it doesn't change. And of course, I know I mentioned this last week. This is the Ramel London Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Which it's of course not waterproof. <laughs> because it always runs. Um, Or smears. It smears. So that is all the products I have that I'm going to be using this week on my face. So expect to be seeing this face a lot. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are doing products of the week that you guys store and keep to the side so you guys can have products already picked out, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what some of your products are or send me over to your video so I can watch your video. So yes, if you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can become friends. Also, make sure to check out fashionshychild.com because I post on there basically every day. And there's always new information, of course, up that doesn't make it over here to YouTube.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. If you have any requests, make sure to also leave them in the comment section below so I can get those up for you. Bye guys.